Hi, Nick. God bless you. Shukuma, God bless you. We may see that you're at forever. I'm okay. I'm all right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In a boy, in a girl, in a boy. Wait till you they say, even your Bible tell you, say you not be loser. I am a winner, I am not a loser. Even my Bible tell me, say I not be loser. Wait till you they say, even your Bible tell you, say you not be loser. I am a winner, I am not a loser. Even my Bible tell me, say I not be loser. I am not a loser. Even my Bible tells me I'm not a loser. Do for me. Do for me. Do for me. The things you do. In a boy. Mm. Win a boy, win a girl. Win a boy, win a boy, win a boy. Hey, wait till you they do, wait till you they say. Even your Bible tell you say you not be loser. My sister, Ebra. Good evening. God bless you all. Good evening, my beloved sisters, brothers, all over the world. We are all celebrated this this evening, this afternoon, this night, because some people are sleeping now. But wake up. Wake up. The blessed one is here again. The blessed one is here again. I'm here to praise my king. I'm here. To praise my king from everlasting to everlasting to praise my king the blessed one is here again so let's take a walk with god <laughs> the blessed one is here again <laughs> we are on fire for god though on fire for jesus christ alone <laughs> he said we'll not get a job a job it is so. <laughs> so depopulate the kingdom of hell. That is what we are after. <laughs> so when say they say you are a loser, then they say there's nowhere in the Bible that Jesus Christ wrote to say we are losers. They are not losers. We are not. We are more than a conqueror. So walk in the way of the Lord. Walk in the way of the Lord. Walk in the way of the Lord. We should all walk in the way of the king. That is the medicine. If you don't walk in the way of God, the devil may say you are a loser. But if you if you walk with the way of God, there's no place they write in the Bible they say we children of God we are losers. No, we are not a losers. We are winners. So we are winning. We are winning. I'm gonna play the song again. Seeing that nobody got the message of that song, nobody got the message of the song. Nobody got the message. So, I am, I am, nobody actually got the message. So, I'm going to play the song again. Jesus is the door. Jesus is the way. So, when the door of Jesus open for you, if you refuse to enter, the devil will open the door for you. And when you enter the door of the devil, hmm, the devil will go, you to do sampa. You know what sampa means? The devil go you they do yeah 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 we pass yeah yeah now wait till the devil go use it they do and nobody want me the devil use that they do sample hmm? nobody want the devil to use her as instrument nobody we all want God to use us as instrument so if you want God to use you as instrument please share this video 
please share this video okay share it so you can reach all those all those all those people out there mm? all those who are out there so finish sharing some and uh jo ojo oh, marine Ma maria Mar marian god bless you so let me share this to my page to my to my facebook page and uh then i will i will start talking 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 okay i will start talking while i'm driving i'm going to be driving where i'm going and uh, i do what i am doing for god you know why you know why i'm not a jail for waiting people they do eh? i only listen to the voice of god so when the voice of god is speaking we children of god we should encourage each other because you see the worldly people, they encourage themselves. You see the bloggers, they encourage themselves. But why are we Christians, we the frontline ministers? Why can't us encourage ourselves? They will say, see them, they can't even encourage themselves. And they say they love. And they say they preach love. And you can't even encourage me. You can't even encourage your sister. Anyway, I'm an encourager. Ambassador of Hope Praise Connect. Born to encourage people. Anybody will say my hand never, never, never uh, in growth in their ministry. I like that person talk. Any woman that minister online say my hand never touch in ministry. I like they talk because I'm born to do what I'm doing. I am born to do it. So I want somebody to click the share button and share it. Hmm? Share it to bless other people so we can we can know where we stand. So we should not allow the 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 devil use us as a sample. Okay, we are the one using them. We are gonna use them, we're gonna trap them under our feet because that is where they belong. Where the devil belongs, they belong to our feet. Okay, that is where God said we should put them. So I'm gonna play the song again by Anita UK. Simply mean that we are not a loser. There's no place that's been written in the Bible that we are losers. That's why that's why we need to walk in God's way so we cannot be losers. Hmm? If you allow the devil to use you, then you will become a loser. Because at the end of the day, the devil will so mess with your life and uh, it, will, it will abandon you. He will abandon you. Okay? And you not want make we not want make uh, God abandon us for the devil to toy with. Hmm? Hmm? Not be loser. I am a winner. Hmm? What do they tell me? <laughs> so let me be driving. I am not a loser. I am not a loser. Even my Bible tells me say I'm not a loser. Why you the cry? Why you the fear? Even your Bible tell you say you not a loser. We get celebrate every day jubilee for your mercies and your forever. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Win a girl, win a boy. Win a boy, win a boy, win a boy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Adonai. Wait till you they say, even your Bible tell you say you not be loser. I am a winner. I am a loser. Even my Bible tell me, say you are not a loser. I am, a I am not a loser. Even my Bible tell me, say you are not a loser. Mm. When you think about all the things God they do for you, the love way they pour on you, the love way they show you, think about all the things the Lord have done for you. You can't, you can't keep quiet, though. I can't keep silent. Oh my God. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Christianity is to be enjoyed, not to be afraid of. It's to enjoy the word of God. Because the word of God is strengthened. The word of God strengthens you. So there is no place in the Bible. Hi, our prophetess. God bless you. There is no place in the Bible God has written that is a failure or we are losers. You know, if you walk in the ways of the Lord, there is no way you're going to be losers. And all those losers will not come near you because there are a lot of nuisances there. You know, they will not come near you if you have that spirit in you. The spirit that raised Christ from death, that it lives in you. Confidently say that the, the spirit that raised Christ from death, it lives in me. So all those ones, they cannot come near you because they, they, make, they allow the devil to toy with their, with their life. You know, they allow the devil to toy with them. So you that is carrying the name of God faithfully and diligently, God said we should walk in his way. Take a walk with him. Or you are into the ministry already. This is two by two. This one is two by two. You are in the ministry already. And one of your leg is in. One of your leg is out. God is saying, walk with me faithfully. Then I will show you great and mighty thing. Those hidden things. Those hidden treasure. This is two people. I'm talking to two people. Believers and unbelievers today some of us we are in christ already we are calling the name of jesus christ already but one of your leg is in and one of your leg is out if you know that you are that person before the 31st say lord i want to dust those those dirty feet those feet that is not clean i want to i want to pull those dirty shoes i want to start working with you so you take a walk take a lead let god take the lead for you Say, when I take the lead, I will not take your step back. The Lord said, walk, you will not get tired. Walk, you will not get weak. Walk, you will not weary. So if you know, I'm talking to both people now. I'm talking to the unbelievers. I am talking to the believers. Because there are some of the believers. They think they walk right with God, but they are not. They are still doing some little, little, little bit of shady where God does not want us to do. So I'm a vessel. I'm the bold one, the bold. I can speak it and I can tell you that it's wrong. So I just have to do my evening broadcast before I go home. And I'm going to a place now. So I'm going to park in a bit. So I'll finish this message. So I'll go to the shop. So as a believer, if, if the worldly people can encourage themselves, this is why I'm going, you know, because we don't encourage ourselves. That's one of the things the Lord is questioning us. Are you preaching me or you are preaching yourself? Are you preaching Christ or you are preaching yourself? If you are preaching Christ because Christ is love, Christ said we should encourage. In the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ, you always encourage. Why, why now, as we ministers, we don't encourage each other? And you say you are working for God. What kind of work is that? And you say you are, you, you, you are, you are God's workmanship here on earth. And you are, not, you are not doing what the Lord said we should do. So we should practice. Practice, practice make perfect. If you don't know how to love before you are preaching God, you start to love. If you don't know how to encourage before, as far as God call you, you need to start encouraging people. Start encouraging people with your with your own gift, with your own the gift that God gave to you in your ministry. Like me, you know what? My hand, God gave me the hand. You know why God gave me the hand, eh? To evangelize. So I can evangelize with my hand. Where your video cannot reach, my hand can make you reach there. That's why we share the gospel. We don't forget that we are social media missionary. We are social media missionaries. Don't forget that. We are social media evangelists. Don't forget that. We are social media ministers. Don't forget that. 
So if you see your co-brother or your co-sisters doing something for God, but there are some creepy ones out there anyway. So if you know the creepy one, it's for you to preach and repent from your iniquity. Repent. God needs your soul. God wants you. So your soul will not perish in the hell fire. Heaven is waiting for us to come in. If you walk with him, heaven is waiting for every one of us to come in. Are you ready to take that lead? Are you ready? You want God to want you to, to take that walk with God. So he can show you those hidden things. All those hidden things, those secrets that you don't know before. So he can show you. He can even show you the secret of people that you have been dying with. Claim it to be their holy, holy, holy. But there are something else. God can, can do it. He said, but just take that walk faithfully with me. And that is what I do. Taking the walk faithfully with us, so you can open my eyes to see more. Because all of us, will they come out and preach, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Maragaba Suterebra, Leda Basadayaba. All of us, we are coming out. But if you are not walking, you are calling the name, and you are not walking in that name, it's very bad. You are calling that name, and you are not walking in that name, it's very, very bad. So I'm going to pack and I'm going to read my scripture. Then I will go to my where I'm going to go. Then I go home. You know, they think they can zip my voice. I'm <laughs> the voice. The voice must be voice. <laughs> if I want to take this, they serious. They slap people's face. No. It's for you to say the thing with smile, not with seriousness. Seriousness, they scare people away. You they scare people. You, are scary. you guys are scary people. Waking the demon all the time. You are waking the demon is sleeping. You are waking the demon. Oh my devil, they have woken a lot of demon, and they are setting their trap. So I'm going to park in a bit. So I'll do this so I can I can go home. Okay. Jesus, you are my savior. I depend on you. Jesus. You are my best friend. I depend on you. So, so that's it. I'm packing and uh, let's do it. 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 Please share, share, share. My bigger fans is Jesus Christ, though. So I don't see what I don't see negativity. Mm -mm. I see positive because Christ is positive. So when negative is coming for you to slap, not let the devil mark you loud. Devil mark you loud, eh? fool, yeah? Instead of you to slap the devil, you want the devil to slap you. It's very bad. It's very bad. It's very, very bad. So, good evening, my people. Good evening. God bless you all. This is your girl, the blessed one. Ambassador herself, Ambassador Rosalind Esohe Agbon Lahore. Imo say one. Ese rock and one. Edu nehui one. Edu is black beauty. Black beauty is beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So let me go. This is my evening video. Let's take a walk with Jesus Christ. And uh, I have the book of Deuteronomy there this evening for us to go and read. Say so, you people must be careful to do everything the lord commanded you say do not stop following god do not stop following god he did not say do not stop following man he said do not stop following god don't stop following god don't stop walking with him don't stop connecting to him look he said you must live the way the lord your god commanded you we must live the way the Lord commanded you and I. Like I say, I say this my evening message is for two. For the believers and for the unbelievers. As a believer, as a, as a soldier for Christ, as a warrior for Christ, as a minister of the gospel. You don't practice sexual immorality. You don't practice sexual immorality. With your male pastor, with your female pastor, 
you don't practice it. You don't do it. Withdraw yourself away from those things. Sexual immorality is one of the things that is killing the body of Christ. Sexual immorality is one of the things, the sin that is killing the children of God. If worldly people that are doing those things does not guarantee you for you to do it. Male preacher and female preacher, you don't supposed to practice sexual immorality. Sexual immorality, you don't suppose to practice it. It's not, it's not going to happen. It's not, it, you don't do it. You don't do it. You don't start it. You don't initiate it. So in case if anybody, I'm talking to the believers now, I'm not telling anybody, oh, I'm not saying you are doing it, oh, I'm just preaching what the Lord says you say this evening. So don't come and give me phone call that I'm talking about you. Don't try it, oh, if now I go throw fire. Don't come and call me and tell me that I am talking about you. No. Don't do it. Because if you do it, it's going to go bad. I'm just here. Don't forget, I'm an ambassador of hope. So my evening message is for the believer and the Christian. And the Lord said to us, we, should, we must follow his command. 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 We should not practice sexual immorality. Sexual immorality is one of the sins that is killing the body of Christ today. So if you are going for a journey, if you are a man that is married, or a woman that is married and you are a preacher, go with your husband. I was talking to somebody a few minutes ago before I come this life. So if you are a, a, a male preacher, you are trying to go for an assignment and you have a wife. Don't go to the travel without your wife. Don't go to the assignment without your wife. Go to the assignment with your wife because they said that I'm using women to set trap. My message this TV is not, to, it's not for prayer, it's for talk. It's to talk to the preachers, to the unbelievers, to Christians and the unbelievers. That is why I am out today. And one of the things I am telling the unbelievers, uh, the believers, is what is what you know that is not good. Don't do it. God bless you. God bless you too. One of the things that is taking the children of God astray, one thing that is taking the children of God into, into a sexual immorality. You should not practice sexual immorality as a child of god you should not initiate it because somebody must start it either the woman start it or the man start it don't even initiate it at all as a christian as a believer as a christ follower so if you are a christ follower somebody is trying to initiate you for sexual immorality tell the person say if the person is a believer be the bigger be the bigger person be the bigger person Tell the person they know, I am a vessel unto God. My body is a temple of God. My, I will not allow you to seduce me or to initiate me to this thing. And as a man, as a woman, a woman minister, I'm talking about women. I know you, your husband has business. Your wife has business. Don't make arrangement for another man to come and wait you for where you are ministering. Because in year 2021, I am sending my message. Oh, the year 2021, now Kasala go happen. Kasala. It will involve women. Women preachers. Oh. It will involve women preachers as well. We will involve men preachers. So if you know the best, it's for you to take your husband along with you. You know the best, it's for you to take your wife along with you. So if they are booking the ticket, they should book it for you and your wife. Okay, most of the thing that is causing sexual immorality in the church as a body of Christ, because the women they refuse to take their wife along into to their to their assignment. So when they reach there, especially those who are living in the country code, when they reach there, they say, Ah, call the cash me from call the cash me. Somebody will come do service. Some even having an affair with rule service. Some even having a fail with those ones that came to save them in their room. 
So I'm having an affair with people that work in the hotel. Do you understand? That is the alpha the devil has set women in a place. So many traps, they are in a place. So for the unbelievers, if you see person, a woman, single woman calling you, encouraging you because of the wayward life you are living, not that the person don't the person hates you or the person is castigating you. He just wants you to live the life that pleases God, not a life that pleases people. Because as you are living that life that pleases people, they are clapping for you. You are ruining your life, you are ruining your children's life. But one thing is there. He said the grace of God is sufficient for us. Forgiveness is there. So if you genuinely repent from those your trash that you are doing, there will be no scar. Those scars will not be in your body. After all, prostitutes you resign from prostitution and you start preaching the word of God. Strippers. Those are those that have porno, 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 that have already had porno fame. They repent. They start preaching God. So God wants you for that talent that you have that you are displayed to the public. Why can't you use that talent to call people to come to God? Don't say because I'm doing people are not watching me. No. You think people are not watching. People are watching. They actually watching. After this message, if I go, I come back another 20 minutes. The viewers increase. So that I will not stop. I will not stop what the father said I should do. Omeka Nayako, be great, but one on your dikaya. As Chimo Chimo, yo yo Chimo. Chimo Chimo, yo yo Chimo. Ye meramo de mumanarua, ademumanarua, ademumanarua, yo yo Chimo. Chimo Chimo, yo yo Chimo. Hagune chemba, yo yo Chimo. Otisa gazimo de mumanarua. He said, the way he's leading me is okay with me. The way he's teaching me is perfect. So men will teach you. They will mistreat. They will, they will not teach you the right word. People will be in church today. Few of them will see that heaven. Few of them. A lot of them will not see the heaven. But we, are, we, we all are climbing. We are trying our best to meet that heaven. To see heaven. That is what we are after. See, and the Lord made me to understand that you, you should not use evil to get name. This is where I go to the, the unbelievers. You don't use bad thing to get fame. You don't use bad attitude to get fame. You don't use bad, initi bad ugly initiative useless initiative evil initiative to get fame no because it will haunt you it's good for god to make you famous than evil the devil make you famous because the devil make you famous they are going to come to haunt you they are going to come to take that thing they use to make you the famous you're going to pay size 12 for them so let me read my scripture so i go let me read my scripture and, and, and go. Thank you, Lord. So, I had a book of Deuteronomy say, So, you people must be careful to do everything the Lord commanded you. He said, do not stop following God. You must live the way the Lord, your God, commanded you. We all must live the way. Like I started with sexual immorality in the body of Christ. God said, no commit adultery. No sexual immorality. But we are doing it. But we are doing it. Who is initiating it and who is not initiating it? If you are the woman that is initiating the man, stop it. And if you are the man that initiated the woman, stop it. And for those unbelievers that is twerking and twerker, please, the end time is around the corner. Jesus Christ is coming. We have learned about this donkey years ago. It's coming. If Christ is not coming, we will not see all this castle with the sister. Castle are there everywhere. And 2021, the Bege go see happen. Bege will never see before. The castle will never see before. He goes, Why is she using castle? Why is she using Bege? Because something, something, something will happen. 
And when they help you, you'll be, you'll be so shocked where the thing is going to break out from. That is, it. That is the, my warning to many, many believers. You can be general of ourselves. You can see my video and walk up us. But if you don't control yourself, it might be you. If you don't control yourself, self-control, it might come from you. The, the public humiliation may come from you. But we serve a merciful God. A God that cleans our mess. After we have made so rubbish, silly stuff, we are coming to ask for mercy. Say the grace of God is enough for me. Don't take the grace for granted. We all are taking the grace for granted. We are taking the grace for granted. Because some of us will come out to speak the word. But what is inside of you is different. You are thinking about, let me finish this thing, finish, let me go and do the other assignment. What assignment is that rather the assignment of God? When God places you on the front line as a minister, come and deliver the word. Deliver the word because the word of God is perfect. It's here and amen. It is perfect. So when you are speaking the word of God, make sure that the same word that you are speaking, you are doing the same thing. But if you are coming to speak, stop adultery, stop this, and you leave the preaching, and you want to go and mere mere with somebody else. Ah, check a leg happen. So let me go. <laughs> he said then you will continue to live and everything will be fine with you if we continue to live the way christ wants us to live all this coronavirus this this i cash on top of my wife i do this on top of my husband it will not happen sure because we refuse to obey the commandment that's why you see the devil is slapping all my gola Devil Margun Hola. Devil got Margun Hola. Seriously. Devil will slap you, those ones that is practice evil and practicing sexual immorality. Devil will so slap you and you will see that it's not it's not it's not a joke. Because if you don't if you if you are continue to be doing it, it will be initiating you more. Unless you stop. Unless you say no to sin. When you say no to sin, you will say, they will be finding another means to come to you. But you know what? As a blessed one says, I am here. I'm on fire for God. Every day is for Jesus. Jesus Christ is what I am for. So let me read. He said, you will live a long life in the land that will belong to you. See, I take this territory, you know, island, Atlon. I take this territory to be my territory. I take over this territory. I take it by faith. At the sound of my voice, revival will take place in Ireland. Revival. Not returning and going back. Come in. Come in and you don't go back again. That is the God. A God that you serve, you don't go back to your vomit. You don't go back to your where, where your God took you from. Where God put you out from, you don't go there. You don't go back there. You don't go back to your vomit again and again. You don't go back to your, your life, your old life, back and front. You don't go there. You don't do it. You say, I am for Jesus. I'm for Jesus. He said, there is two. Either you belong to the devil or you belong to God. Who shall do you belong? Because be, the devil is making you to practice those things. And telling you that you are this and you are not that. Because that's what they think they plant inside of you. But if you take a walk with God. If you take a walk with God. Forget speaking in tongues. So they go to the school of speaking in tongues these days. They practice it. But if God downloads. Say that's why you download the word. <laughs> download it. But any word that you have to delete. There are circle of friends. There are people that you need to delete. You don't need to carry them along into 2021. You need to press the delete button. And God will show you people that you will download. So download those people. Those people that say they are encourager. They value you. Not that they disvalue you. There are some of us. Some of us. We disvalue others. But God said no. Encourage. You never disvalue people. Encourage. God is not coming from the saint. He's not coming for the sinner. 
It's not coming for you because you have died for the sinner. It's coming for the saints. So are we practicing what the Lord has prepared in advance for us? If you are not, carry your banner as well and start doing it. Carry your list. We, 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 have, listed, we have listed our New Year resolution for 2021. We have listed so many things. I want you to list what you have done for this 2020. 2020 what you don't supposed to do with your body as a as a woman minister you know when i hit the button they will say she has started again i always hit the button as a woman minister you are writing something on your updates for 2021 what are the things that you've done that does not please god like sexual immorality that you have done when nobody sees you have you write them down and you have initiated somebody to do it have you write it down Men as well. How many women have you initiated? How many women have you influenced? Have you write it down? You say, when are they talk? When are they do my preaching? Eh? I don't do it to point finger at anybody. But I'm just saying it because a lot of us, we are not balanced. And God wants us to balance. You know I know. You. You. You know me know. We are not balanced. But God wants to balance us so we can walk in his way. We don't walk in God's way. The unbelievers, you see the way they encourage themselves. They encourage themselves in what they are doing. They plan for themselves with what they are doing. But we believers, we Christians, we follow. We don't applaud, we don't encourage each other. And Christ is hungry. How can we depopulate the kingdom of hellfire? How can we depopulate the kingdom of hellfire? If we don't encourage each other, how can we depopulate? So you, you, those things you have not, you have not done. Those are one of the things that you don't do. You don't do it. So me, as me, as a blessed one, as an ambassador, see anyone, unless the one I don't know, unless the one that is not my friend, is not the list of my friend, or even though the person is not my friend, and you share it, my friend share it, then I'll share it. Nobody, no ministers, this play face without my hand. Have not blessed his ministry. I can boldly say it. I can say because you know why? Because my hand, my evangelist. I don't carry evangelist by name alone. I carry evangelist by action. You know, I carry evangelist by action. By action, that is what I do. What I was saying today is the believers and the unbelievers. One of the things that is killing us as a believers. As women, as men in ministry, let me tell you, sexual immorality is one of the things that is dealing with us. It's dealing with us necessarily that we don't have control. But the Lord said there is self-control, fruit of the Holy Spirit. Have self-control. Have self-control. And if you are my go to you see, go your assignment with your wife. Go, go, go. If not three days assignment, go with your wife. Now one night, self, go with your wife. So the, the hotel waiter you not seduce you. The hotel that you are going to lodge. Because it starts from there. It starts from there. So I, I, I finished my message. And uh, God wants us to follow his way. His way alone. That's why I put the book of the story. Say you. So you people must be careful to do everything. Everything. Not one. Everything. The commandment. If you are ready to walk in God's will, don't let man tell you to open your boobies when he call you. Mm -mm, don't allow. And don't initiate man to do anything. Because men will call you and say, open your breasts, open your this, open your belly. They're there everywhere. I'm talking from experience. So. <laughs> I'm talking from experience. So that's why I put the book of Deuteronomy there. I am a warrior. You know, warrior get attacked all the time. Now, I don't get small strength to don't say I don't shout because I get new feather. <laughs> I have a new feather. He said, When you have a new feather, you're gonna fly high. So today I am strong in faith, giving glory to God to be able to speak to the believers and the unbelievers. Because we are in a two world. The two world we are, the devil. And Jesus and the devil is not taking it easy with us 
You can see if you go to the the, the, the worldly people platform. Hell, you can see the inyak they 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 clap for them. They they clap for them. Why we believers? Why we so called believers? Why we don't do the same thing to each other? You know what? Preacher bad pride. Preacher, you know what is killing a lot of us? Too many proud. We too proud. We pride too much. We don't have that self loyal spirit in us. You have the word in your mind. Not that you don't have the word. You preach to deliver people. You pray your prayer answer. But there is one thing you are still fighting with. Proud spirit. Proud spirit. And it's taking a lot of people down. It's taking a lot of people down. So that is my own. If you look and pass and ease, that's your Torah. If you look and pass and say, ah, let me listen to this woman where they talk, where they shout every day, say, you will see that I make sense. Now let me go born to talk this to when and they talk so. It's a lot of us. We come out to preach it. We come out to do it. We come out to say it. But if you leave this place, what are you doing when nobody is there? That's my question. What are you doing? You know, one thing I discover about myself lately, I will be in my room. I will be in my room. Oh, somebody will be talking about me. I've heard a lot of voice talking about me bad. I say, why? Why did they say this? Why? But they are preaching, oh. They are preaching. They are preaching the word. They are preaching the word. They are colliding. They are conspiring. Even within their sisters and brothers in the house. You can be talking about me in local ja or America. In my house, I heard everything. In my house. You can be talking about me in America. In America, I've never been to America before. But there was a time my matter was table talk in the United States. Every conversation, I was hearing it. I say, where, where is this voice? Where this word is coming from? It's coming from the land where I never ever received. So be careful when you talk about the blessed one. And talk about me good. Not talk about me bad. Because when you talk about me bad, God is speaking. Is speaking. So I love you guys. And I will, I will, I will keep on taking work with God. See, my next assignment... The year of exceeding grace to see what the Lord have in stock for us. Okay? Don't be a loser and don't be a quitter. Challenge will come, but don't quit. Temptation will come, but don't quit. Look up to God, the author and the finisher of our faith. Let it be the crown that you carry because God is going to take a lot of people's crown. He want to take them out. He's going to take their crown. You know, when you put crown, you take it out and give it to another that is ready and faithful to do the service. We are all called to do the service of God, not to do the service of man. We are all called to serve Jesus. We are all called to announce his goodness. We are all called to preach the goodness. So if you are preaching your Bible upside down, now take and hear where the blessed one is because the blessed, blessed one eh? I fire for God I be. I love you guys. I see you. Before I go, let me play this song before I go. Let me play a song before I go. Let me play a song before I go. Let me play a song before I go. I want to play Igbo worship. Igbo worship. Igbo worship. Let me play Igbo worship before I go. Mm. Let me play Igbo worship. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. My network is kind of misbehaving, but stay put there. I'm going to play it. And uh, it's not coming. The network is misbehaving. Network is creepy. 
it's then okay it's back again so like what i was saying i'm trying to play song before i go i'm trying to play song before i go and uh, the network is kind of misbehaving and uh, is 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 misbehaving okay So let me play this a uh, this a uh, chingwe chingwe. Mm. Okay. Umuchineke. Thank you, Lord. So I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys later. I don't want to spend more than one hour. Oh, yo, yo, Chimo. Chime, Chime, oh, yo, yo, Chimo. Adimu Manarua. Adimu Manarua. Adimu Manarua, yo, yo, Chimo. Inebe mo, Adimu Manarua. Adimu Manarua. Adimu Manarua, yo, yo, Chimo. Chima, Chima, yo, yo, Chimo. Chima, Chima, yo, yo, Chimo. Adimu Manarua, yo, yo, Chimo. Adimu Manarua. Adimu Manarua, yo, yo, Chimo. Chima, yo, yo, Chimo. Agune Chemba, yo, yo, Chimo. Cause I'm the manaruo, I'm the manaruo, I'm the manaruo, yo yo. Cause I'm the manaruo, I'm the manaruo, I'm the manaruo, yo yo. So I see you guys tomorrow morning. God bless you, shalom, and God bless you. I love you with the love of God. Let's live, let's live right. Tomorrow I'm going to talk about living right with God. Tomorrow morning, living right with God. We should live right with God. If you call yourself a Christ-like, you should live the life of God. Let's live right with God. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk about living right with God. There are some things that we do that does not please God. God never should want to share his glory with, with those people that are silly people. No. But Jehovah is his name. I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, Jesus. Jesus is what I am for. Every day for Jesus. Let's take a walk with God. And let's live right as Christ wants us to live. I love you. Shalom and God bless.